welcome back to the online class as today we are going to start a new uh, poem from your honeysuckle book okay so here uh, poem name is vocation what does this vocation mean so a vocation mean a strong feeling of suitability for a particular uh, career or op- occupation okay it means somewhere some person likes to do their own work apna kaam karna hai na career or occupation jo usko suit kare jiske liye usko strong feeling ho that is said to be vocation okay on your way to school or market you see many people at work in pair discuss what you have noticed then read this poem you may read it a lot with a partner if you like okay yes we can do this so i just want to ask you what are the things you noticed when you come back or when you go to your school what are the things you noticed uh, there can you please tell me what the things you are uh, uh, seeing on your way to school or on your way to home from school what are the things you can see and uh, tell me the shops or the um, the sellers or the salesman they were doing so you can tell me in the whatsapp group also or here in the comment section also so let's read this poem after discussing that because when we go somewhere else we see lots of shops we see lots of person they for earning their livelihood they work different kinds of work right so let's read this poem and we'll conclude what does this poem mean about when the gong sounds 10 in the morning and i walk to school by our lane every day i met the hawker crying bangles crystal bangles okay so when a boy he was going to school, when the gong the watch the clock uh, ticks to 10 okay to uska time ho jata tha school jane ka right and when he went through uh, means when he went to school apne raste mein wo kya dekhta tha hawker wo kya karta tha wo chillata tha like bangles crystal bangles hai na and what the boy think about what the boy think about him uh, or the things what he is doing there is nothing to hurry him on there is no road he must take no place he must go to no time when he must come home so the boy thinks that कि कितना अच्छा है ये आदमी के बारे में ये कहीं भी जा सकता है किसी भी स्ट्रीट पे जा सकता है कोई इसको पूछेगा नहीं ये किसी भी वक्त घर जाएगा कोई इसको बोलेगा नहीं ही विल डू हिज ओन विश ये अपनी मर्जी से अपना काम करेगा है ना एंड इट इज लाइक वॉट वी कैन से या बिकॉज ही लाइक his um uh, actions like uh, doing whatever the things but uh, he thinks the boy jo school ja raha hai wo ye sochta hai ki isse to koi kaam hi nahi hai ye kahin bhi ja sakta hai hai na koi rokne tokne wala nahi hai hai na and he can go anywhere i wish i were hawker spending my day in the road crying bangles crystal bangles and use dekhkar ye jo boy hai wo yahi sochta hai ki kaash hum bhi iski tarah hote hum bhi road pe road ghumte hum bhi idhar udhar jaate aur road pe aise hi ghumte bina kisi problem ka bina kisi tension ka hai na kisi bhi time ghar aate koi dikkat nahi rehta and iski tarah मैं भी बनना चाहता हूँ और मैं आराम से बैंगल्स बेचता क्रिस्टल बैंगल्स क्रिस्टल बैंगल्स है ना हॉकर की तरह हॉकर मीन्स सेल्स मैन ओके वेन एट फो 
in the afternoon i came back from school i can see through the gate of that house the gardener digging the ground he does what he likes with his spade he soils his clothes with dust nobody takes him to task if he gets back in the sun or gets bait you know to means uh, what happened uh, in this uh, stanza that the boy said when he comes back to uh, home from school uh he see a gardener okay a gardener ko wo dekhta tha and wo ye sochta tha ki kitne aaram se wo uh, soil ko dig kar raha hai na wo ground ko dig kar raha hai kitne aaram se he does like he wo jo wo chahta wo waisi hi spade spade means uh, kulhari we can say aur jisse matti uh, means uh, the soil ko uh, means mix okay with the help of the hand okay to so, speed se wo kya kar raha hai soil ko dig dig kar raha hai na aur uska jahan man hoga jaise man hoga waise kar raha hai and even wo kaam karte karte uske body pe uske clothes pe dust lag gaye hain and even uske body pe kya lage hue hain soils lage hue hain lekin use mana karne wala कोई नहीं है वो चाहे तो धूप में पूरे दिन रह सकता है सन में बेक हो सकता है या तो ही कैन गेट वेट इन द स्प्रिंकलिंग वाटर्स और कैरिंग वाटर्स और इवन इन द रेन आई विश आई वेयर अ गार्डन डिगिंग अवे एट द गार्डन विथ नो बडी टू स्टॉप मी फ्रॉम डिगिंग और काश में एक गार्डनर होता सो दैट नो बडी कुड स्टॉप मी फॉर डूइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ वर्क एंड फ्रॉम डिगिंग आई विल ऑल्सो डू द वर्क लाइक गार्डन है कि मैं जहाँ मेरा मन करेगा वहाँ आई विल डिग एंड इवन आई विल लीव इन द सन और इवन आई विल लीव इन द वेट कंडीशन वेदर जस्ट एज इट गेट्स डार्क इन द इवनिंग एंड माई मदर सेंस मी टू बेट I can see through my open window the watchman walking up and down now when he goes to bed he saw when he uh, his mother uh, tells him put him into the bed to sleep he sees uh, he saw the bat uh, watchman from his window he was walking up and down the lane is dark and lonely and the street lamp stands like a giant with one red eye in its head now what he said wo khali sharak pe empty uh, lane means raste pe ekdam dark hai he is walking up and down hai na and wahan pe lamp stands laga hua hai like a giant with one red eye in its head wo waisa lamp stand dikh raha hai the watchman swings his lantern lantern and walks with his shadow at his side and never once goes to bed in his life and mujhe ye lagta hai ki watchman to kabhi sota hi nahi hai wo din bhar idhar se udhar ghumte rehta hai hai na aur lantern ko apne haath mein rakhta hai and apne shadow ko ke aage aage chalta rehta hai hai na and never he goes to bed in life i wish i wear a watchman walking the street all night chasing the shadows with my lantern and i wish ki main ye watchman ki tarah rehta aur main bhi shadow ko chase karta hai na with the lantern so in this poem we can see how boy desperately he wants to uh work nothing he wa- he wanted to work uh, he don't want to do any kind of work and that's the reason he said that he wanted to be like a hawker he wanted to be the uh, like gardener he wanted to become like watchman but he didn't know the actual um hard work um when to be on this work because 
uh, it take lots effort for doing this kind of work and even uh, if they are a hawker or if they are a gardener or if they are a watchman it means somewhere in his life hai na wo unhone waisa kuch kiya nahi padhai and that's why they are suffering but the boy seems like are ye to kuch bhi nahi kar raha hai and i wanted to become like him i wanted to become like that है ना तो ऐसे उसका थिंकिंग ये बदल चुका है कि वो चाहता है कि उन लोग की तरह वो बन जाए बट एज वी नो इट इज़ रियली डिफिकल्ट एंड इट इज वो एक मजबूरी है कि दे बिकेम द हॉकर और दे बिकेम द गार्डनर और दे बिकेम द वॉचमैन बट वी कैन सी इफ वी आर एजुकेटेड इनफ टू डू द वर्क वी कैन डू समथिंग विच इज़ वेरी प्रॉफिटेबल है ना ये भी प्रॉफिटेबल है बट आई कैन से ये एक ऐसा सिचुएशन होता है जहाँ पे यू जस्ट डू द वर्क विच इज लाइक इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर फैमिली ओके सो डोंट मीन्स द बॉय इज इनोसेंट ही डोंट नो वट द पर्सनस आर गोइंग थ्रू लाइक दिस हॉकर लाइक दिस मैन हु इज डिगिंग द सॉइल और द मैन uh who is uh, in his house who is uh, just going moving up and down up and down on the lane okay so this be poem it is written by rabindranath tagore okay this poem is written by rabindranath tagore so please kindly study the word meanings which are difficult for you and also you can study the poem lines okay i will see the question answer of this poem your partner you may now be able to answer this question who is the speaker in the poem a boy a boy is the speaker in the poem who are the people the speaker meets the speaker meets with hawker gardener and yes and the watchman what are they doing they are doing the work like hawker are selling the crystal bangles gardener is digging the soil and the watchman was looking after the house what wishes does the child in the poem make the child in the poem make they want he wanted to become like a, a hawker like a gardener like a this um, watchman why does the child wanted to become a hawker gardener watchman because he thinks that दे डोंट डू एनी काइंड ऑफ वर्क एंड दे कैन डू वॉट एवर दे वॉन्ट जो उनके मन में आएगा वो काम करेंगे वो एंड दैट्स वाई ही वॉन्टेड टू बिकम लाइक दैट ओके फ्रॉम द वे द चाइल्ड एंड वी इज द हॉकर द गार्डनर एंड द वॉचमैन वी कैन गेस्ट दैट देर आर मेनी थिंग्स द चाइल्ड हैज टू डू और मस्ट नॉट टू डू मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ डूज एंड डोंट दैट द चाइल्ड डज लाइक और द फर्स्ट लाइन इज डन फॉर यू मीन्स आपको ये लगना है कि कौन सा चीज़ है जो चाइल्ड कर सकता है और कौन सा ऐसा चीज़ है जो चाइल्ड नहीं कर सकता है ठीक है तो यू हैव टू डू इट बाई योर सेल्फ ओके सो दिस इज ऑल एंड नाउ एड टू लिस्ट योर ओन कंप्लेन्स अबाउट द थिंग्स यू हैव टू डू और मस्ट नॉट टू डू अभी आपको है कि अपने बारे में लिखना है कि आप क्या करना चाहते हो और क्या नहीं करना चाहते हो लाइक द चाइल्ड इन द पोएम यू परहैप्स have your own wishes for yourself talk to your friend using i wish i were to aap is poem mein jo bacche usne apne bare mein likha i wish i were a hawker i wish i were a watchman i wish i were a gardener to aapka bhi koi wish hoga to please write it down okay find out the different kinds of work done by the people in your neighborhood make different cards for different kinds of work and you can make the card colorful with the picture of the person doing the work okay aapko find out karna hai ki aapke aas paas mein jo people hain wo kya karte hain kaun sa kaam karte hain aur acha hoga jab agar aap card banaoge hai na us person ka photo lekar usme photo adjust karke ki ye aadmi ye kaam karta hai like if sabji wala hai to sabji wala ka photo leke and you have to prepare this ki he is selling the sabji vegetables okay so this is all about today and guys please complete your 
बुक नोटबुक एंड प्लीज स्टडी द पोएम लाइन्स एंड द वर्ड मीनिंग ऑफ दिस पोएम ओके सो बाय एवरी वन हैव नाइस टू ऑल